हेलो एवरी वन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी डीलिंग विद द फाइनल प्रॉफ सब्जेक्ट्स सो द इन फाइनल प्रोफेशनल एम बी बी एस वी हैव ह्यूज सब्जेक्ट्स लाइक मेडिसिन एंड सर्जरी विच विथ विच अ मेडिकल स्टूडेंट इज ओवर बर्डन एंड एट द सेम टाइम दीज सब्जेक्ट्स आर द सब्जेक्ट्स फ्रॉम विच लॉर्ड ऑफ एम सी क्यूज कम इन द पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट एंट्रेंस एग्जाम्स इज वेल सो दीज सब्जेक्ट्स आर नो डाउटेडली वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो लेट एस स्टार्ट विथ सर्जरी and uh, let us see how a pg uh, me aspirant needs to prepare for surgery so let's start with zainab okay. surgery as ma'am said is a very vast subject but if approached in a systematic manner it can be done very easily because it's very interesting and very specific points need to be dealt with because recurrent questions are coming from some topics which are very important as i'll tell you so if surgery is done in a systematic manner it's very scoring because almost 10 to 25 questions will come in any exam more for all india for aims almost 15 questions on an average come from surgery so how to deal with surgery is see you divide it into abdo uro and miscellaneous subjects okay when you de- uh, dealing with abdomen which is the largest portion of uh, surgery what you need to do is for all chapters focus on the cancers even in cancers treatment for most of them is not very important what is important is what are the prognostic factors because questions come from the prognostic factors for every cancer say esophagus there was a question this time what is the most important prognostic factors for colon cancer there are there have been a lot of questions about prognosis for ca colon you need to know the treat uh, stage uh, and the treatment for every stage prognostic factors and the relevant anatomy for colon cancer apart from that uh, for gall bladder that is the most important part of uh, uh, abdomen in surgery gall bladder you need to know uh, gall stones uh, cholelithiasis uh, cholecystitis everything you need to know and uh, strictures the operative management of strictures what complications occur while uh, dealing with uh, um, gall bladder surgery that is something that you need to cover for liver anatomy of liver is very very important there is a question this time on anatomy of liver and a lot of questions have been asked previously in all india so liver anatomy is important and uh, portal hypertension something that you should not forget even for pgs and medicine portal hypertension you need to know so do an integrated approach to it for surgery medicine and pediatrics for uh, portal hypertension apart from that coming to the next portion which is urology urology is not very important for pg exams per se you just need to cover ca prostate the upcoming treatments for ca prostate and the congenital anomalies which you can cover with pediatric surgery pediatric surgery is i think a very important topic which most of us neglect but it should be done because almost one question per exam is being asked from pediatric surgery there's a question on cleft lip palate in november 14 paper this time also there's a question on pediatric surgery so every time there's one question from there so just cover it it's a very high yield topic a short topic but uh, a very high yield one apart from that uh, then coming to the miscellaneous portion this is where the maximum questions come from the first one is breast breast is the ultimate topic if you want to do one topic from surgery do see a breast everything is very important even benign lesions of breast and de classification very very important you need to know there's a question in pathology from uh see uh, from benign lesion of breast so even that is important so this is to- uh, one topic you need to do uh, in depth very very carefully uh you need to know the triple assessment there are a lot of questions on the approach of ca breast that a patient comes to you with this uh, symptom with this investigation done so what will be your next step so you have to keep in mind the triple assessment that if a patient is coming after clinical examination you have to do the radiological examination if uh, she is coming after that you have to do the histopathological examination so the triple assessment and the approach of a patient with ca breast or any breast lesion needs to be very very clear also you need to know uh, the stra- uh, stages of ca breast very important every stage what is the symptom you have to know and carefully what treatment will you do for each stage because specific questions are being asked from ca breast stage wise treatment similarly for thyroid cancers thyroid is another topic which is very important so thyroid you need to know the approach to a solitary thyroid module very very important for aims you need to know uh, what investigation to do next so the approach a flow chart needs to be, be there in your mind that what will you do when a solitary thyroid module uh, patient comes to you apart from that thyroid cancers you can either cover it in pathology or here anywhere is fine but it's very important you should not miss what are the important points for each type all the four types of thyroid cancers 
then next is transplant transplant you need to know the basics about kidney and liver transplant what are the indications what are the contraindications that should be enough then coming to trauma trauma is a very scoring subject if you just have your common sense intact during your exam if you just focus and read the question carefully just keep in mind a b c d e that is how you have to approach the patient you can solve any question on tra uh, trauma you need not go into very details of how we will manage a uh, abdominal patient how abdominal trauma patient just keep in mind a b c d e those are mainly the questions that are coming up these days uh, one question per exam from the trauma approach itself so that is important uh, and Vascular surgery is a very big topic, but it's not very important. Uh, you can go through varicose veins and the treatment for varicose veins and just the kind of uh, graphs that we use for the arterial anastomosis. I think those are the two things if you do in vascular surgery, it should be enough. So if you just do these many topics from surgery, I think it should be enough for your profs also and your PG exams because those are the overlapping topics which are being asked which are being which are important for both uh, these things so i think uh, this is how you should approach surgery so ravi would you like to add on something uh, uh, one thing i would like to add on is when you are studying surgery you should have a knowledge of anatomy a little bit applied because how the question is asked in exam is applied anatomy like this time a question came up on the triangle of pain uh, in reference to a patient undergoing laparoscopic hernia repair so you need to have an idea like if you are doing okay fine types of hernia surgery the approach at what age you are doing what but apart from that you just need to have a knowledge of anatomy of the inguinal canal you have to need a knowledge what structures pass through stomatic cord what structures are associated with while you are removing the hernia or excising the sac so that when question comes like accidentally you place a tap in triangle of pain which nerves affect which artery is affected which is lying lateral to what so that is very important because this is actually what is significant for, for a surgeon when he is performing a surgery. So these type of questions are asked. So what when we do surgery, we generally learn the, what are the various surgeries, which is done in which age group. We leave out the applied anatomy of that. But that is also because direct question may are, be asked of the blood supply and the, the nervous supply of that region. So that is very important. One more thing I missed is uh, most of the systemic uh, radiology is covered with surgery so most of the questions from systemic radio are surgical so i think even when you're doing every organs pathology just keep in mind what will be the investigation of choice for this for example a question on acute appendicitis in children what is the investigation of choice there have been two questions in two years from that topic so while you're doing acute appendicitis while you're doing uh, say esophagus just keep in mind what are the investigations you'll do for uh, that and your systemic radio is pretty much covered there. So, I missed out one topic in muscular surgery that's uh, abdominal aortic aneurysm. Uh, yeah. And that's uh, pretty much a very important topic and uh, pretty much trendy, I guess. Hmm. So, one topic that you should not leak. And uh, one thing about surgery, uh, I was never very confident about surgery myself. So, I would say uh, the best way to approach this is for the interns and the post interns who don't have that much time to go through the textbooks. Uh, Let's approach surgery topic wise. Let's not uh, start esophagus and uh, okay, start reading esophagus. Let's start CA esophagus. Let's start uh, one cancer and next two. That's topic wise, I think it's but better. Yes. High yielding. More high yielding. Uh, time conservative also and high yielding. I think uh, burns is one thing that uh, one should yeah, also read about. Yes, burns and wound, uh, wound contamination, uh, yes. wound uh, treatment. That surgical is surgical site important. infection also is very important. So general surgery as a whole also is very important when you look at nutrition also. So there are questions which are coming from there. So general surgery is very. One important. thing I would like to add is how to study surgery. Okay, people start reading like a simple textbook and it's not a gatha you go mm -hmm. on reading. Okay. Always read surgery in a protocol manner. Whenever you are reading any topic, read in a protocol. Because the question will be, already something has been done. Something has been intervened in that patient. What will, what will that do next? So like a patient comes of, let us say, upper GI bleed. So you have already done endoscopy. So what people do is, okay, upper GI bleed, these are treatment modalities, you learn. Okay, one, two, three, four. That is not the approach. Let us suppose you have to study in a way that already a person comes with upper GI bleed. I have done an endoscopy, it re-bleeds within 48 hours, then what I have to do? After 2 weeks, what I will do? You have to read surgery in a protocol manner. If you read in a protocol form, then only you will get a question correct in AIMS exam. Neat, it is okay, but for AIMS, read surgery in a protocol manner. It's a very good point, I think it's a very nice point.
विवेक यू वुड लाइक क्लाइंट्स भी है बट आई एम नेवर दिस कैडेट राइट नाउ अनदर फैसिनेशन ऑफ एग्जामिनर्स इज एसी दिस कैडेट्स इट्स एक्चुअली जस्टिफाइड फैसिनेशन आई मीन से बिकॉज़ इट इज समथिंग दैट एवरी डॉक्टर नीड्स टू नो बिकॉज़ वन सम सम डे वी यू कम अक्रॉस अ पेशेंट विद कार्डियक अरेस्ट इट्स इट्स बाउंड टू हैपन इन द हॉस्पिटल सो Uh, uh, and ACS guidelines we have to be thorough with them. So, like, the most recent version is the 2010 uh, updated version. And even after that, every year they are making uh, small additions, though it's not uh, being published as a separate guideline. But so uh, you need to update yourself every time a new development comes to ACS because uh, if not AIMS, AIMS is most likely AIMS most likely is going to have a question in every one of its editions. But in addition to that, every other entrance exam in the country, like we state, we give the the all India, you will always find a question uh, uh, challenging your knowledge in ACS level. So uh, it is very important to be thorough with every aspect of the uh, Let it be your uh, using your cardiovascular defibrillator, or let it be your uh, basic intubation stuff. Like it's like uh, what are the Points of treatment and post-resuscitation care. Every point, it is available freely over the net. You can always access it, but be thorough with it. Spend at least one full day on that and be thorough with it. Yes. Uh, so coming back to you, Zainab, what books you would like to suggest for like, surgery? There's a lot of confusion for surgery. Even when you're studying for your profs, everybody is confused. Should we read Bailey and exactly. Love or not? Because it's mm-hmm. such a vast mm-hmm. topic. So what I did was I did abdo and neuro from Bailey and Love. Generally, uh, general surgery I did from there's a book called a SRB Manual on Surgery, which gives a very note-wise uh, notes. I mean, it has just notes on all the topics. So it's very easy to read. So that is where I did general surgery from because there's a lot of things in Bailey and Love which are. I mean, not mm-hmm. very relevant for general surgery. So I did abdo euro from Bailey and Love, and SRB manual I did for general surgery. For uh, final, so, so as we can gather, an integrated approach is required for surgery. So you have to apply your anatomy stuff here. You have to go stepwise in a protocol manner, as uh, Ravi said, and you have to know what to do next. The investigations, and then if a patient comes in a certain scenario, how will you go about it next? So that is very important, and not to forget all the tumors. and especially breast